Hello, welcome back, fellow snoozers. This is Vito Spinelli of the Rock Creek Correctional Institution Snoozology Club. My friends call me Spider. Since I was sentenced to a dime in this joint, I found studying deadly venomous insects and spiders and the excruciating pain that they inflict to be a therapeutic way to pass the time. Today we're going to look at the tarantula hawk, who has one of the most painful stings in the world, and the speedy and aggressive wandering spider who strikes under a cover of darkness. First, we'll learn a little bit about these whack jobs, and we'll see what happens if they have a vendetta. If you know what's good for you, you'll hit that like button and subscribe to this channel, or maybe you'll uh, accidentally fall in a shiv in a shower. Now nah, you can't leave. The Tarantula Hawk Tarantula hawks are found on every continent except Europe and Antarctica. They are large, parasitoid spider wasps that grow to over two inches in length and have one of the most painful stings in the world. There are several species of tarantula hawks, but they are all somewhat brightly colored and have iridescent wings. This bright coloration stands as a warning to potential predators that they can deliver an excruciating sting. Adult females have a 7mm stinger and long legs with hooked claws for grappling with their victim. As adults, they feed on fruit and nectar from flowering trees. They've often been seen to eat fermented fruit and become too intoxicated to fly. They should try some of Tony Chateau's Big House toilet wine. Talk about stuguts! Tarantula hawks get their name from the unique way that their life cycle begins. Female tarantula hawks typically hunt male tarantulas who are out of their burrow looking for female tarantulas. They will also find a tarantula inside a burrow and purposely trigger the trip line web that they string as the prey indicator. But when the tarantula leaves the burrow, it's faced with a predator rather than a prey. Female tarantula hawks will sting a tarantula, the bigger the better, between its legs, paralyzing it. Hey, oh! Sounds like Sheila from 153rd Street, am I right? She then drags the tarantula, often up to eight times her size, to a specially prepared brood nest. She places the paralyzed but still living tarantula into the brood nest and lays a single egg on its abdomen. When the larva hatches, it burrows into the tarantula and devours it from the inside out, purposely avoiding the vital organs to keep the spider alive as long as possible. In several weeks, the larva pupates and it emerges from the brood nest to start the cycle anew. A scientific study observed over 400 battles between tarantula hawks and spiders, and though the battles could be harrowing, they only observed one spider wasp loss. Simply put, the tarantula hawk always wins. <laughs> you gotta respect an earner. She's taking care of the family there. The Wandering Spider Wandering spiders, also known as banana spiders, are native to Central America and Northern South America. These extremely venomous spiders grow to have a leg span of 7 inches and a 2-inch body. Wandering spiders are a fast-moving, aggressive hunters who do not build nests to trap prey, but instead actively hunt prey on the forest floor. They generally hide in dark, moist places like under log piles or among tree roots during the day and come out to hunt at night, wandering across the forest in search of prey to ambush or stalk and kill. Their prey consists of large insects, small lizards, mice, and birds. Wandering spiders have a similar appearance to tarantulas, but have longer, thinner legs and distinctive red jaws and fangs that they display when they are angered. When threatened, they will raise their first pair of legs over their head, displaying black bars on the underside, as well as the bright red fur surrounding their fangs. This usually serves as enough of a warning to get most predators to back down. Kind of like, you, you don't always gotta beat a guy who owes you money. You just show him your baseball bat and he forks over the dough. The venom of the wandering spider is extremely toxic and causes a myriad of symptoms in humans, including intense burning pain and nausea, as well as abdominal cramping and vertigo, just to name a few. The wandering spider's propensity for hiding in dark places during the day often puts them into contact with humans. They've been found in boots or under construction materials, in basements and in garages. This proximity to humans combined with their very toxic venom leads many scientists to consider them the most dangerous spider species to human. You know what else is dangerous to humans? Me, if you don't pay up. I'm looking at you, Chico. The Fight A tarantula hawk, guided by her need to pass on her genes, is searching for a large spider to lay her egg on. The larger the spider that she lays her egg on, the larger her offspring will grow to be. She is flying low to the ground, searching out tarantula burrows when she spots a fully grown, wandering spider waiting to ambush some prey. She lands behind the spider in an attempted sneak attack, but the spider is alerted to her presence by the air stirred by her beating wings. The spider quickly turns to face her and raises her front legs and exposes her fangs. The tarantula hawk is not to be intimidated, though. She has a burning need to procreate. She uses the spider's threat posture to quickly dart beneath her as she curls her abdomen forward to bring her stinger to bear. 
The spider is fast, though, and uses her long legs to step back out of danger. The tarantula hawk circles the spider, testing her defenses and trying to get behind her. Suddenly, she sees an opening and darts in and quickly buries her stinger into the spider's abdomen. She's forced to retreat quickly as the spider wheels around and once again presents her fangs. The tarantula hawk's venom has begun to take effect, though, as the spider is slowed. The tarantula hawk can see that the spider is slowed. She darts under her again. This time, the spider is too slow to react. The tarantula hawk gets beneath the spider's abdomen and out of reach of her fangs. The wandering spider wraps her up in their legs, but it's no use. The tarantula hawk stings her again and again, injecting enough venom to completely paralyze her. The tarantula hawk rests and recovers her strength for the long haul back to the nest. We have a winner! The spider slaying tarantula hawk! Well, snoozers, the wandering spider is impressive, but I think everything you need to know about this battle was discovered in a study showing one tarantula hawk loss in 400 battles. How did you think this would turn out? Let us know in the comments section below. Go ahead and sting that like button and subscribe to our channel to wrap up more epic battles in your silken web. Ciao from Spider Spinelli and all of us here at Rock Creek Correctional Institution. Hey, you need a pin pal? Until next time, snoozers.